Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. But when you, but after, you, okay, I, and I don't want because I know that we could talk forever. But yeah. when you went from there to San, to uh, Atlanta, Atlanta, how did that happen? Uh, after two years there in Cleveland, I was hurt that last year, and uh, brought a new regime, new head coach, and things like that. And I mean, I had a good, I had a good, decent camp, but with NFL and kind of football, uh, the GMs kind of have their favorites in a sense. Someone could be better, but They've invested more into this guy. I'm kind of giving y'all the, the, mm -hmm, the inside mm -hmm, scoop mm -hmm. on the NFL. So everything isn't always fair. You know what I mean? So if politics. they invest, it's a lot of politics. So if you invest more into somebody, that GM, he's going to want to push his guy. Yeah. He's not going to want to push this other guy that he has no ties to. Correct. You know what I mean? So I kind of got stuck into that. So my offensive coordinator was in Cleveland. He went to Atlanta. So when I got cut, I got cut at I got cut in the morning at 10 o'clock. I got picked up by Atlanta. And I was on a flight at uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon wow. in Atlanta. Yeah. Blessed. 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 So really? that, it was that Shanna, Sh Shanahan. Shanahan. Cal, Cal Sh Shanahan. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, I come home and I tell wifey, like, man, we're going to Atlanta. Like, Pack up your things. Let's go. Yeah, pa pack, <laughs> pack it up. You know what I mean? I just bought this apartment just Put furniture in it, you know what I mean? So pack up your things, let's go. So I fly to Atlanta, and I get there, and it's a whole different dynamic, a whole different structure of team. Like, this is what the NFL looks like. Man, I walk into the locker room, they jamming, uh, they jamming all this rap. In Cleveland, we couldn't listen to rap music. It was a lot of stuff that we couldn't do. Man, I walk into Atlanta, man, they listen to rap different. music. They got their shit in their ass like, like man, DC, man. nigga. We party. Man, man, man yeah. I feel like I'm in Magic City. <laughs> man, they got their shirt out. They rolling dice. I'm like, man, this is what NFL look like. You know what I'm saying? So hey, when, when that first happened, I was like, man, it's just a blessing that God put me in these situations to succeed. And then, E, I, when you go from getting cut at 10, being on a plane at 3, and then... I think I slept. I slept at Josie's house. You know, Joe, yeah, I, yeah, think yeah. One, I slept at mm -hmm. Josie's house that night. And in the morning, I had practice. So that morning, it was like a prove yourself type of practice mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Yeah. So to go from getting cut at 10 to being on a flight at 3 to sleeping at your homeboy house. You're in the NFL. I'm sleeping at my homeboy house. And then waking up that morning on a prove yourself type mm, of deal. Wow. So, man, golly, I'm looking at Julio Jones. I already know. Man, Muhammad Sanu. I'm looking at these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt Ryan. I'm like, oh, my man, God. Yeah, I when you get traded, though, um, and you move to another team, how hard is it to build a now, relationship? when you get cut. When you get cut. cut. Yeah, yeah, say cut. Yeah, you got to say cut. When you get <laughs> cut. I want them to feel it. And you now, you know, um, found a new home. How hard is it for you to build that relationship with your new teammates? It's it's I mean it's 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 through anything because we men. Yeah. And and with men you gotta gain my respect. And with you gaining my respect, you gotta show me something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you gotta show me why you're here. You gotta show me why I should respect you. Gotta show me why I should talk to you. So that's just kind of that's football. It's it's a violent sport and it's very like on some sports at three hundred type stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I I get up that morning and I go against like Rocky, uh, um, Robert Alford, and he's known for being an aggressive, aggressive DB. Dude, yeah. So I ain't know that, you know what I mean? So my first snap after I'm going against him and he like jump oh, jam yeah. me. So yeah, I mean, yeah. He hit me all in my in my face mask and stuff. Damn. So it's like I'm on the yard, you know what I mean? I'm like I can't show these people I'm no punk, you know what I mean? So I slap off and hit him, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. We arguing and stuff, so throughout the whole thing, he's guarding me. So I guess they told him to guard me just to see where I was mm -hmm. and where I was at. And after that first rep, e man, I cooked him the whole practice. I already man. know. He he, I, I think he got me paid that day. <laughs> you know what I'm so, so, but, but but the thing is, like when you go into a situation like that and and dealing with these guys, Julio Jones being maybe. Uh, notably wanted the yeah. best to do yeah. it at, at that at, at that time yeah. I was more worried about damn they gonna hurt my boy I always used to say that I be in the bed I, didn't, I quit I don't even yeah. watch football bro yeah. I, you, I, you made me to work cause I don't enjoy it no more yeah. like I used to yeah, yeah, but when yeah. you played I would watch it then mm -hmm. religiously I would not yeah. and I tell my brother I'll be like man I don't care whoever he playing against I'm against him you know what I'm saying <laughs> I don't give a damn yeah. whoever he with I'm with him yeah. you know what I'm saying so yeah. and, and I, I just when I seen that I seen Julio I was like dang that's gonna Really get, I felt like you was gonna 
really shine because they gonna be trying to guard yeah, the hell out of Julio. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, and they gonna throw it to that little nigga, and that little right. nigga ain't gonna fold. You right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you right. You right. That's the way I thought you're about right. it. And you know? right. And that's exactly how it happened, man. Just throughout my whole career, I'm sorry, it's just been opportunity. Just take advantage of it. If, if someone's to, to always say like, man, um, what did you do with your opportunity? I feel like everyone has a chance in their life, like a certain window, a certain opportunity where they become, can become that person that they think they are or the goals are rich and famous or whatever you want to be in life. It's always one turning point in your life to where you have that opportunity is what you do with that opportunity. And with me, I can honestly say, Eli, every opportunity I had, I mean, I did my thing with it. Like I didn't fumble the ball. I didn't drop it. I did exactly what I envisioned myself doing and more and I think that's what separates me from the average person is because mentally I was already that person. Mentally, I was who I was, who I am today. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.